time motoring down to Texas Bay to check out the generator because Maria just can't stand not to be working. She just can't get enough of it. Now we're just cleaning the tank, or well, Maria's cleaning the tank. <laughs> putting in some fresh, <laughs> putting in some fresh gasoline. <laughs> Yikes. At the same time we have to make sure we don't run over any of those fish on <laughs> fishing nets that are placed here all over the place. Because the fishermen they they place the fishing nets like ten meters from each other and it's like twenty in a row, so it's pretty tricky to get around them. And it's tiny tiny little styrofoam floaties with a line on them, so they're tricky to see. We changed the oil and put some fresh oil in and we also cleaned the air filter and then we went on to clean the carburetor and um, we also checked if the spark plugs were working and then we put everything back together and we tried to start it but it didn't really work. When we were playing with the generator some kids came by and asked us for some paper for school. Carlos Alexander. Carlos Alexander. ¿Y tu hermana? Uh, muchas nombres. Gracias. ¿Sabes escribir tu nombre? Sí. ¿Sí? Carlos. Once we're done with the not quite as successful generator repair. We went um, to Cayo Quemado and watched the beautiful sunset at Tom's Sail Loft. The next morning we drove down to Livingston, which is about seven miles from Texan Bay, in Tom's beautiful pink uh, Cayuco. Maria is a welder, so she wanted to teach me how to weld, and we needed a, a bit of material to start this project. We wanted to try and build a, a slightly stronger companion way out of metal for, for Carl. A friend of mine had given me um, a little stick welder, so we found some electrodes in Livingston that we needed for that, and we also found a welding helmet, which was great. But what we still needed was the material, and they didn't have that in Livingston, so we took another half hour lunch down to Puerto Barrio. In Puerto Barrios we found um, some steel and some steel pipes and some other material that we still needed. And then we headed back to the to the dock where the lancha was going to take us back. And on the way, we checked out um, a little local market that looked pretty nice.
We got all the material safely back to Kayokimago and then we started practicing. We took the old um, companionway doors and we just laid them out on the steel and then we took the grinder and cut the metal. Once we'd done that, um, we had to fit it in and it wasn't quite the right size so we had to correct it a little bit. Actually the first bit I had to practice was if I could just um, weld uh, the name of Carl. <laughs> that was the, the first little thing I had to do. What made the, the learning of um, welding a little bit more tricky is that we had really low power. We didn't have actually enough power to run that welder so I guess it was another learn it the hard way project for me. <laughs> Then to make the metal a little bit stronger we cut um, a metal pipe in half and then we had to weld those half pipes on the back of the, of the metal. Yeah, I think I burned a couple of holes into the metal, um, but one or two little wells turned out not too bad. And it was definitely a lot of fun trying to weld around and just learning a new skill. Well, I mean, not really skill yet, but just, you know, playing around with the welder. We got carried away a little bit with the work and um, it was nearly time for Maria to leave again. And I wanted her to see a little bit more of the Rio area. So we planned a little hike um, to a beautiful waterfall. But more about that next week. <laughs>